welcome to my channel fred makes things and our cat lady unboxing video for april of 2024 um if this is your first cat lady boxing we unboxing with me on this channel i do these videos in three parts really um part one is to discuss who cat lady is part two is to um quickly talk about last month's box and my new thoughts on it if there are any and then part three is getting to the unboxing itself uh, timestamps have been on the screen for you but these videos go pretty quickly if you hear that in the background Susie for some reason decided to surprise star um 90% of the time, they get along quite well. 10% of the time, not so much. So Susie's my regular cat, my cat, personal cat, my foster failure from a few years ago. And then Star is one of my current foster cats. And even though they have been around each other since uh, mid-October, uh, fully incorporated since January, uh, they still, they have some tiffs. Um, they are never going to be best friends. But anyway, um, if you hear any more squabbling, that is them. Their nails are clipped. They never really pull blood. Um, and if it gets too serious, I go and break it up. But usually it's just like, um, how can I surprise you when you're not paying attention kind of stuff. Anyways, that was an unexpected distraction. Um, if you are new here and this is your first video, hello and welcome. If you've been here for a while, thanks for coming back. Um, thank you for subscribing if you've subscribed. And if you haven't already done so, think about doing it. Um, I do these Cat Lady unboxings once a month, but I do other uh, sewing and crafting related unboxings throughout the month along with sewing videos and some long-term projects and whatnot. So yeah, let's just uh, get into this video and talk Cat Lady. Who is Cat Lady? What is Cat Lady? Why is Cat Lady? Um, so Cat Lady is a monthly subscription box where you get cat themed items for yourself. Um, you can spend an extra $5 a month, get the premium Cat Lady box or crazy Cat Lady box. Um, and you get two uh, cat toys as well. I get the cat toys because just like I explained, I have cats. A uh, personal cat, a upstairs foster cat, and at the moment four downstairs in the basement foster cats as well. Um, yeah, so it is a bit of a steep price, but they do donate to... Uh, rescues and whatnot. So sometimes if I don't find value in the box, I do console myself with the fact that some money is going towards rescues. Uh, and yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm probably forgetting things, but pricing has been on your screen. And yeah, I, I think that's it. So, um, Part two, I guess. See, part one was really quick. Part two, what came in last month's box and did I like it or not? So this is the art card for last month's box. Every single box gives you an art card. And then on the back of it shows you what items came in the box. Um, last month's uh, featured cat artist, the lady who did the card. It was named Alina Par Parhomenko. Parhomenko. Sorry if I butchered that. And then down here are the um, rescues that they worked with last month. So this box uh, had three items in it. One item is a t-shirt. It's always some sort of clothing item. Most of the time it's a t-shirt. This one was pretty understated with a cute little um like a little uh embellishment on it rather than like a full-on graphic t-shirt or something i like it i've worn the shirt a few times i do believe it's the the type of material that i'm not a huge fan of there's a certain cotton weave that i'm not a big 
fan of like in texture and stuff but this shirt is actually pretty comfy pretty soft and I've been enjoying wearing it um we'll see how I progress into the summer with it but I am definitely going to keep it um and keep it in rotation item two was a trucker hat that I am staring at right here I've never worn it I don't know if I ever will wear it and I am seriously considering giving it away um, and then part three were three uh, food containers with some really decent lids on them with cats on the sides. Um, I use these. Um, I've used them for our Easter picnic that my husband and I went on. I've used them a few times after. Um, I would, I don't know if I would recommend like um, things that you would have to really clean out of it because for me to preserve like the decals and stuff like that, I am going to be hand washing these. And in one of the containers, I put egg salad in. And when it's things like that, I like to run it through the dishwasher. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep things like that in it. But I am. Um, I did put like chopped veggies in one of them, um, and then like a seed and fruit salad topper in another one of them. And I really like it, and I really like how they nested together. So. When we went on our picnic, my husband um, ate the egg salad for the most part um, out of the big container. And then I put the two other containers into a salad bowl that I had brought along um, and mixed up together. So I had a salad and he had three or four sandwiches. And then when everything was done, I just plopped them all in together. Um, and it was nice. It was nice to kind of nest them together and do the cleanup that way. So I am enjoying them and I do foresee using them more in the coming months into the summer um, and then we'll, we'll see how they um, wear how they stack up um, this box when you count shipping and everything um, hits around $40 or so a month um, and that's a big that's pretty steep so $40 for a t-shirt and some um, nesting plastic containers. I'm not sure if it's worth it, but I'm really happy to have them. Um, and the trucker hat, like I said, I may or may not wear it. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if, I think I said there's value in the box when I got it because I was really excited and I still do find value in the box. Just, well, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty torn about Cat Lady and whether or not they're worth the money. But yeah, um, and then also we do have the two cat toys. Before I forget, the Dragonfly wand toy is downstairs with the boys. And um, uh, the um, I have three cats that are able to interact with each other and play. And I use the wand with two of those cats. Um, Toulouse and Miles because they really like wands aren't and are not terrified of me so they really like it they prefer other wands to it and the zoomy shroomy catnip toy I gave to my uh, FELV positive cat my feline leukemia cat and he really likes it he's batted around and beat it up so cat toys are a hit I didn't even give the girls a choice because they're spoiled and they have a million toys so anyway, that was last month's box. Um, I guess jury's out on whether or not it was worth it. So now let's take a look at this box. And it is orange. And I think it's orange because I just saw the theme for this box is orange cats. Uh, I have a special place in my heart for orange cats. So I'm kind of excited for this box. Um, and a little trepidatious. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Uh -huh. So the box is a little beat up, but or the paper protecting it is a little beat up. Here's the art card. That is so cute. Then on the back is, like I said, the things that you... Um, get in the box. I don't look at that. Our featured artist is Elizabeth Anderson. And 
Um, these are the rescues that they donated to last month, or this month, last month, and then orange cats. That is a really cute card. They've been getting a lot of orange cats as cards lately, and I think the cat box before that was, no, that was gray. But just looking, I have a few cards here, and they're all orange cats. What's this one from? Well, this one's old. This is from January of 2023. I wonder why I have that still floating around. Anyway, really cute card. Let's take a look inside. So as you saw at the beginning of the video, I opened this up for you, but I did not look inside. So these are our first looks for both of us. I'm sure Cat Lady has done sneak peeks on their various social media platforms. They used to do the sneak peeks the month before, so you had an idea of what you were getting, but now they've been doing it after the boxes have been sent out, which I'm not a fan of because like, if you're on a budget and this is like your splurge and you're not seeing what you want or what they could be providing before you order, like you get it, then you could be out money without knowing it, right? Like I like the idea of the sneak peek informing your decision. Um, rather like your decision to buy rather than after so that you can kind of see it before you get it and know whether or not you're going to be disappointed I don't know it doesn't make much sense to me so we've got the silly goose catnip toy who it's crinkled too so that is really cute it's got some feathers on it which the cats always really like and then we've also got a crazy traffic cone also with catnip inside of it. So those are our two catnip toys. I'll probably give the girls a chance and then give them to the boys. And then we've got orange cat bandages. 30 bandages that are latex free. They're in clear packages too, so you can kind of see which ones they are and then you can choose. They're a decent size, so those are cute. I'm gonna have to go play with the girls when this is done, I think. It sounds like they've got just a bunch of energy. That We'll leave the t-shirt for last. And then we've got this orange cat tumbler. So it says on here, stainless steel, stainless steel, not microwave or dishwasher safe. So that's something to keep in mind. We have a stainless steel straw. And then we've got the tumbler itself. So it's metal on the inside, cats, orange cats on the outs. Oh, that's cute. On the outside, just like the box showed. And then a pretty decent um, plastic top, it sounds like. Yeah, I'm not sure. And then on the inside, it says for cold or for cold hot beverages. So that's really cute. I like that. I like tumblers. We get a lot of drinking things from Cat Lady though. Like I'm drinking out of a Cat Lady water glass right now. And we have Cat Lady wine glasses, um, tumblers, water bottles, um, I don't know. Here is a photo of the Myriad uh, Cat Lady drinking vessels that we have gotten in the last few years. I like them all. I use them all. Um, it's just sometimes it feels like it's a bit much. And then finally the shirt. 
so the shirt is that texture that I do not like. I'll try it out, but I'm pretty sure I won't wear it. Big stretch. That's really cute. It's also not really a flattering color for me, this like brownie, orangey tone. Um, but yeah, that's really cute. Again, it's not a huge graphic tee or anything like that. It's on the simpler side. So not sure if I like that or not because I'm not sure if I'll wear it or not. So to recap, we have got the t-shirt, the band-aids, the tumbler, uh, the two catnip toys, and the art card. So I ask myself at the end of every one of these boxes now, because I have been hard on Cat Lady in the past, whether or not the box is worth it and whether or not I find the 40 ish dollar value in the box. And in years past, I have been a bit um, judgmental about them and I'm trying to be better about it. So um, I ask myself, is this box worth it? I automatically take $15 off of the total. I think of it as a $40 box. Because I never remember how much I actually pay. But I know it's around $40. I automatically take $15 off for the clothing item, which gives me $25. I never include the cat toys in the valuation because whether or not the cats play with them or enjoy them, it's a risk that I'm willing to take for $5, right? And the $5 would make the box closer to $45, I believe. So I'm working with $25 in value, and that's the tumbler and the bandages for $25, and that's just not worth it to me. I really like this tumbler, and I like the fact that it's stainless steel and not plastic. Um, I like the look of it. I think it's really cool. I'm not a fan of the fact that it's hand wash only and not dishwasher or, and, um, I don't care if it's microwave safe or not. It's metal. Why would you stick it in the microwave? But, um, I am not a fan of it being hand wash only. I hand wash all my stuff anyway when it comes to Cat Lady, but I don't like the restriction. And I say that too, because I got these really cool wine glasses a while ago. I think they were like, I don't remember, but they were extra large wine glasses and I really liked them. And over Christmas, when I was away and my husband was still here, he drank out of one of them, stuck it in the dishwasher and all of the decals came off like immediately. And even before that, I was having, when I was hand washing them, I was noticing that the decals were starting to move around on me. And um, I don't like the fact that if an accident happens like that, the Thing is completely ruined like all of the decals coming off like they did completely like made a mess of my dishwasher and I ended up spending most of January peeling plastic out because every time I thought that I got everything clean I found more issue so um the fact that if this accidentally went into the dishwasher I'd probably end up with a massive mess on my hands is not something that I'm excited about like I know that if I stuck this glass in the dishwasher. I would lose all of my decals on this probably pretty fast as well. And I don't remember if it said it was dishwasher safe or not. So anyway, $25 for that and some bandages. 30 bandages is a nice amount of bandages, but like what, $5 at the grocery or $5 on these at most, I would say probably $10 now with the way that things cost, but how much do they say they are? $6.99. So yeah, $5 on these, that would make this thing $20, and that's just not something that I'd be willing to spend on a drinking vessel. But um, I may change my mind as I try on the shirt and um, drink from the water, the tumbler and stuff like that. Um, but let me know 
what you think about all of this down in the comments section. Do you like it? Do you like the theming? Do you like the coloring? Do you like this like 70s kind of coloring on this tumbler? I do like the styling. I will say that. Um, any and all thoughts and comments are appreciated down in the comment section below. Um, and like I said, if you're interested in these kinds of unboxing videos, I do Cat Lady, I do two sewing subscription unboxings and a few other things along the way. Um, so maybe think about subscribing. Like the video if you've made it to the end um, and you don't mind the rants and rambles I can find myself on. And yeah, I'm going to go. I have to go play with the girls and try to expel some of their energy so they stop doing whatever it is that they're doing to each other. And with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will talk with you again soon.